What's Festool doing in a tractor trailer? Let's go on in and find out. at IWF 2016 and Festool's booth with Rick Bush to take a look at a couple of brand new circular saws from Festool. Rick, show us around. Thanks Chris. What I want to show you today is a new circuit or saw approach from Festool. A lot of people are familiar with our track saw system, how it uses guide rails, you achieve that perfect splinter free cut and that's really great for processing sheet goods, doing cabinet work, case work, but we also had a lot of requests for well, a standard circuit or saw, so here it is. Now we have a traditional sidewinding circuit or saw where you see the blade is exposed below the table. You don't have that plunging type mechanism and it works a lot like a regular sidewinder. Mm -hmm. So you have the guard here, which has a riving knife built in. Very easy to swing out of the way. From the front. From the front. This was a battery operated version. I also have an electric version over there that you plug in. So we take our battery off and take a look in the back here. We have easy to set depth scale, which is an imperial, yeah. fractional inches. People can read that pretty well. You can also see I have a large bevel scale in the back as well. So I have a dust bag attached to it here so I don't end up wearing the dust, but mm -hmm. that's also optional. You don't need to always have one of those involved. Sure. In fact, you can run the seam without a vacuum and be pretty happy with the results. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about the tracks. Well, this is a different approach to a guide rail uh, for us in that this one actually attaches to the machine using a T-slot and it can hold it in place not only here but when I tip it this way. Okay. So if I'm working in this type of plane, the guide rail is going to stay attached and retract automatically. In fact, as I made that cut, you can see how it swung the guard out of the way. Right. Then the guide rail wants to retract right. on its own. So it always allows me to work consistently and safely. But the cool part is what's underneath here. We have these two stopping points. This one's fully adjustable. I can set this based on my miter scale here for a particular cut, tighten it up, bump my two points in, and then I'm ready to go ahead and make sure. the cut straight across. Sure. So if you're cross-cutting framing lumber, pretty much of any size, yep. you can lock it right into the angle you want. And Boy, you can just great. make cut after cut after cut, and yeah. you don't have all that time with the, the square, and you're doing the layout right. and the measuring. Here, I know I'm going to hit that same angle every point. Mm -hmm. I just need to know where I need to start and that's the rest takes and care of it. Dead straight. Exactly. What are the different lengths of the rail options? Well, this is this is a mid-sized one. This is what will come with the saw. It uh, gives you about 16 inches of cross-cut capacity. Yeah. We have a, a little shorty here. It gives you about 10 inches. And the long boy gives you about 26 inches of cross-cut okay. capacity. And the saw also uses our traditional guide rails that you can use it for a longer rip cut. Oh, we wow. make rails that are over 16 feet long, so sure. as long as you can imagine, you can you can cut with one so of these. So you can break down sheet codes using standard festival exactly. tracks. Now, both of these saws are available now? They'll be coming out next month in September. Month. Yep. Okay, great. And model numbers? Uh, we call them the HK and the HKC. The HK is this model which is again a plug-in type version, uses our plug-it cords. Yep. And this is the cordless, so HKC, C for cordless. Great, great. Well, the reason why I paused a little bit when we first got started here is Festool's got a really innovative booth here at IWF. It's actually a tractor trailer. Tell me about that. Well, yeah, we uh, back at IWF have a great chance to engage a lot of customers face-to-face -face and show them the tools to interactive demos. And we want to take this type of concept and travel throughout the whole country and be able to engage customers, uh, dealer locations, all across. Uh, we've traveled from east coast to west coast, so we're going all over the place. We're going to make over 100 stops just this first year on wow. the road. We're going to do this for a number of years. Yeah. So for people who have always been curious about why buy a Festool, why look at a Festool, now they can come out and see face-to-face, -face, talk to a demonstrator, see what it does, see if that works for the way they work. And all of your tools will be on display in these roadshow events? Absolutely. We take everything out that people are asking for, they want to see, and uh, we've got qualified demonstrators that their expertise is in construction cabinet making, they know how to talk to the application yep. and understand how the tool makes a difference. Yep, yep. Now if our viewers would want to get information about when the truck might be in their area, mm -hmm. What's your website for the roadshow? Uh, in the U.S., you just go to festoolusa.com slash roadshow. Uh, you can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and see where the truck's going and what's going on. And how about the website to learn more about just the saws and, and your other festival tools? Again, okay. festoolusa.com. We make it easy. One website. Uh, it, actually, this is the, the top product you see when you go there right now. Scrolling through, it shows you this. I have a couple other products coming out in September. We'll also flash through there and tease a little bit. So it, just go to the website and you'll see everything. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it.